All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Dragonite here, and okay, we are hopping into the spray control when it comes to uh, playing CS, and a couple concepts I want to uh, get out of the way when you are playing this game. Um, you cannot move and shoot. If you move and shoot, look at where your bullets are going. So there's a couple of things in this map that you can do. You can have it on headshots only. You can have on infinite ammo. And all you got to do is shoot. And now I don't have infinite ammo, right? I don't like having infinite ammo because it's not, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't correlate to how like the gun feels in game, right? Um, you don't want to have like infinite ammo in my personal opinion, but there's a couple of things you can do in here. Um, you have FPS boost, HUD off, sky off, all this stuff. But what we mainly want is we want to get rid of the, um, walls here and we actually want to put up a wall so all you have to do to put up a wall is you know have uh this and shoot at it and it puts up a wall and basically green means on you know this is off okay so now that i have that i don't have a wall okay and if you want to say like uh this wall is too close all you have to do is hit this and it'll bring the wall back a little further right or hit this and it'll make the wall a little closer uh what we want to do and there's a bunch of guns here you can practice with the m4a1s you can try to practice with just the m4a4 um or you could practice with the ak i personally love the ak plus one it is harder to control and it is also a headshot master it rewards uh being accurate and a lot of times I see a lot of people like doing this. Like if you're in silver, you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to move and shoot. You want to stop. And how you do that is like, I'm tapping A, I tap D once, right? Tap A or tap D, A once. Or you can go press shift, boom. But there's a certain period, like you don't have to completely stop. There's a certain period of going back and forth where your bullets are still gonna be accurate. So if I'm doing this, my bullet's not accurate, right? It's just going to not go where I'm shooting at. See, it's not going in my crosshair. But if I do this, it's going to go where my crosshair is, right? And then if I do this, it's always going to go pretty much where my crosshair is. You, there, you got to get the timing down. But you guys came here for learning your spray control, okay? Now, a lot of people, what they do is they come look at the wall, and then they fire, and then they try to control every single bullet, okay? They try to control every single bullet. Basically, you, what you want to do is you want to feel the recoil. So you know that from here to here, you have to pull down. And a good thing to note is, depending on the distance, see how far it goes up? I need to pull down this far, nice and easy, in order to uh, control this recoil. So I need to pull down nice and easy, like that. You need to first learn this right here before you even try to get into spring. You don't want to have a spray like this. No, you're pulling down too fast. I see a lot of new people do that. You want to have a nice, easy pull down. See that? Nice and easy. Nice and easy pull down. Now, once you have that, and once you get that, you're not, what I'm doing, I'm not, purposely trying to control every single bullet i'm kind of feeling the recoil and that kind of just comes with knowledge and playing the game and with anything with aiming you are not just like oh consciously thinking oh i need a flick to this guy you need to think oh there's a guy here i need a flick i need to try to flick to these guys i'm not thinking about aiming i'm just thinking about hitting a headshot right i'm gonna do it like in an actual match if i'm holding an angle I'm gonna try to hit headshots. And that's just something that you need to be aware of, right? You're gonna try to hit headshots. Another thing is I see a lot of people, what they try to do is whenever they get into a gunfight, they immediately do one of these. And see how my recoil went down? You don't wanna do that. You want to practice. You never really want to crouch, okay, unless your spray gets out of hand, okay? That's the only time you crouch or if you're trying to miss bullets, right? Or miss, have the target or the enemy miss a headshot on you. That's the only time you want to crouch. You'll see a lot of pros do this and quickly stand up and reposition. You are wanting to do that. You never just want to just go down and then start a crouch, right? You never want to do that. Now, another tip that I can give you when it comes to spray control Okay, look at my crosshair when I'm spraying. As it goes up, notice how my crosshair was over here while this bullet was over here. Your crosshair still is going to stay wherever your spray is going. You still gonna have to pull down. It's not gonna follow your spray, but you still gonna have to pull down. But 
to help yourself you can say like a target's over here and i need to spray at right here i can start to spray go down and my see how my crosshair was like right beneath him if i know that i can control my spray this far right my crosshair is always going to, i'm going to try to keep my crosshair in the center center of my screen as i'm pulling down and keep it in the center that way i know where my spray is going that is going to help you out a lot when it comes to the concept of uh you learning how to spray and how to get better at spraying on no matter what gun you use right no matter what gun you use it's still going to be the same so i'm gonna come back let's do this right here okay a new wall i'm going to spray and i'm just going to do this oh, that's what i want you guys to do first okay once you master that okay you're going to learn how to actually pull down and the spray pattern goes up to the left and up to the right so you need to pull down to the right over to the left and then over to the right again but we really don't think about that when we're like actually trying to spray down an enemy what i want you to think about is look at the crosshair you know how far you have to pull down right you know how far you have to pull down so just look at the crosshair where you want it to be so see how i'm down here my bullets are all right here i'm trying to keep my crosshair right here in order to control the recoil even though i'm like aiming down my crosshair is still going to be right here so, and if i move my crosshair that's where my spray is going to go i can pull down and then i'm going to try to control my spray where that crosshair is at that wasn't a really good spray control and the only time you want to crouch is when you are spraying at an enemy and your bullet your spray gets away from you then you crouch because it gives you more time and you're like a harder target to hit you never just want to begin your spray and then just crouch or crouch into your spray only certain circumstances that you want to do that maybe you're peeking an angle and you just crouch you just want to do that because your enemy's aiming right here, aiming head head level. If you crouch, he has to bring his crosshair down, right? And if you by pick a corner and do that, and then quickly stand up, it's just one of those things. So that's one of the things I want to teach you guys. Also, I'm going to turn on infinite ammo just to show you what I'm talking about. And this is going to help you guys out a lot when it comes to um, your spray control, okay? So basically what you're going to do with your infinite ammo, you're going to try to keep the spray like in this circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down. See how my crosshair is going all over the place, but I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling how it's going and I'm trying to keep the, the bullets in the circle, right? Let me just make it a little bit bigger. And this is close up, right? I want to start in the middle pull down and then i'm gonna try to keep that spray but see how my crosshair is my bullets are literally going directly above like where my crosshair is and that's going to actually like help you out so much so whenever you're trying to spray transfer you can easily do it whenever you're trying to you you get, you get the headshot then you got a spray transfer you're going to be able to do it boom i know how far i have to pull down i got that kill boom i gotta pull down pretty far got that kill even in here right like the spray control i'm going to purposely shoot here and pull down then transfer Shoot this guy boom i'm trying to control my spray was able to try to hit that target but you notice how i'm trying to keep my crosshair lined up with the enemy as i'm pulling down that's like one of the most important things and like a lot of people in cs don't tell you that but that's like one thing that's going to help you out a lot but also like with the ak it's a really accurate gun so you really don't want to spray with like the m4 okay with the m4 come over here and you kind of just want to get a general idea how the recoil is okay so the recoil goes up to the left and kicks hard right so how do i counter that i pull down to the right for a little bit and then i kick hard left okay that's how you're going to control the recoil so when you come down and you see how like my crosshair was trying to stay in the middle kind of go where my bullets are and if you don't kill somebody by then you're pretty much dead you should always be doing like this quick burst about five to seven bullets and if you do that you're going to get a kill Even there, that spray was horrible. I would have died there. 
And you're never really going to be trying to spray somebody down from this range, right? Usually you're going to try to be spraying somebody down from like this range, right? And boom, I'm going to try to control my spray. I'm dead. Okay. It, you, you just don't want to do that. It's better just to go boom, boom, and try to control the spray. So that's like the tip that I can give you guys today for uh, CS, the M4, or yeah, the silence, um, the silence M4A1. It's pretty much the same thing up to the left. It's just a tighter bullet spread. So you're pretty much just going to try to control this. See that? You're just trying to control that. So whenever you got an enemy. Boom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you learned anything new from that. And literally every gun is like this, okay? Up, hard right. So I'm going to pull down, hard left. But you're not trying to memorize the spray. You're trying to feel the spray. That's like the big thing. Boom. See how my crosshair is? I'm going to come over here. Like that's a good spray. Trying to keep my crosshair. I pulled down too far on that one. I'm trying to keep my crosshair in the middle, right? At this range. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was Mary Say Blessed to Hamble, and I'll catch you in another one. Peace.